Welcome back to the Muffin Man Marv YouTube channel. I am Marv, and today we're going to talk about our best Outriders tips and tricks. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we get into it, guys, just want to let you know our main goal for subs is 200 subs. I know a lot of you aren't subbed already. We're at 159 as of this video. Let's see if we can smash that goal. Let's get to 200 for May. Let's go. Okay, okay, let's get straight into it. Here are the best Outriders tips and tricks that I can think of to help you get through your Outriders journey. Tip number one, lower your world tier, guys. If you want to enjoy the story and get to the end game where, let's be honest, all the good content is in the end game, or all the grindy content, all the good gears in the end game, just lower your world tier down to world tier one, two or three. Whatever's easiest for you, makes you feel like a god, you can smash through it, and I wish I did this initially because I spent so much time struggling at that world tier 6 and 7, repeating missions over and over and over again when I could have just dropped it down to world tier 1, flown through everything and then started my grind um, in the expeditions. So hot tip, drop down your world tier. Tip number 2, this goes off the last one, once you make it to the end game you can farm world tiers from a higher level. So once you get to say world tier well say you complete the game on world tier one you get to expeditions you get to challenge tier 10 you're already higher than any level enemy that you're going to come across in the world tiers go back farm the world tiers here's a link to my world tier farm it's actually the best video best performing video on this channel okay two auto loot you, there is a setting in or in the options in the settings to select auto loot you can select it to automatically pick up all the gear either common epic rare you can set sort of the minimum and it'll pick up all that gear and put it in your in your bag before you leave this before you leave the area or if you want to do it or if you want to do it yourself press down on your d-pad if it's on console or press h on your keyboard that is the auto loot feature it's very 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 useful number four farm your hunts and farm your wanteds for your legendary gear what i mean here you farm the hunts and it gives you specific not spe yeah specific but random um armor pieces gear pieces for your specific character so there's should be three or four sets of specific gear and then two sort of universal sets of gear that you can pick up um it doesn't give you everything so you do need to do expeditions to get a full set but you're guaranteed to get at least two pieces out of what it, out of any set for your specific character in the game if you do hunts um and then legendaries uh, sorry wanteds give you legendary weapons as well completely random um and then sort of historians do both okay that's my tip number four Tip number five, once you get to the end game, make sure your armor and weapons are at the highest allowable level, okay? What that means is, say you're at, uh, let's go, world tier 15, or, or challenge tier 15, the max wearable gear you can have is level 50. Now, if you are wearing the highest level gear possible, like it's averaged out amongst all your pieces, you will get level tier uh, level tier 50 anomaly power health yeah anomaly power and health everything else is influenced by your gear so your armor and your firepower that's more your guns but your anomaly power and your health goes up with your average challenge tier level so once you've reached level 50 equip everything or the highest level you've got to just make sure the gear you're wearing is the highest level it can possibly be so that it can bump up all those extra stats. People don't really discuss that too much. Tip number six, level up the blue gear. It's the most cost effective way to do it in, in the expeditions, guys. So when you, you're looking at gear to level up, the most expensive stuff to do is obviously your legendaries followed by your epics. The rare gear is very, very cheap. Level it up, that's how you get your sort of average level up higher the highest it can possibly be and that will make it easier for all of you that will make it absolutely easy that's what most people get stuck on they're looking for the best piece of gear possible in the early stages and while you're below 
sort of challenge tier 12 make sure you are wearing the highest level blue level up that blue it costs nothing save your resources for when you need to level up legendaries i don't recommend leveling up epics it just costs too much and you're going to replace it with something else tip number seven armor synergies now what i mean by armor synergies is if you look at your pieces of gear there there should be there's a couple of different stats i personally go for cooldown reduction skill life leech and anomaly power i want all of my pieces of gear to have those three things in it now that's if i'm building a, like an anomaly power build if i'm building a firepower build i want sort of firepower on close range i want long range damage in those three things you, you get what i'm saying make sure all five bits of armor or gear have the three stats that match all the others that is how you build an extremely powerful build people don't talk about that but i do there you go tip number eight farm expeditions farm expeditions that you can gold easily and faster like boomtown and kimplant aren't always the best for your build you may be able to complete it but not in the required time so you've just spent what is six minutes doing boomtown to get silver right a silver ct 15 um it's better to get a gold ct 14 if you can you know you know what i'm saying you got higher chances of getting that legendary gear so faster isn't always best for your build i know personally my trickster anomaly build works great against eds it works great against creatures i try and farm the creature bones because nobody's shooting back at me and it's easier tip nine respect your skill tree if you are struggling okay what that means is there's three parts one's firepower one survivability a tanky and one is uh, anomaly power your skills respect it what are you struggling on are you dying instantly are you is your gun doing good damage but your skills aren't respect that skill tree. skill tree it costs nothing to do you can deselect all the points and re-put it on and and reorganize it every single expedition if you need to make sure you do it and figure out what works for you okay personally i know bottom tree bottom skill tree is ap top skill tree is firepower middle tree is tank what are you lacking what do you need help with go off that tip number 10 salvage your gear for months early i'd say salvage your gear for mods early and then sell your gear for scrap as well build up that scrap build up that mod list you're gonna get everything multiple multiple times don't be scared to just salvage and disassemble things that's how you grow your sort of stockpile of mods so that you when you come when it comes to the end game and you get to build your perfect build you've got all the mods there to sort of do it you know your tier one mods tier two mods you'll have all of those generally by the end game or halfway when you've been there for a while the tier three is a little bit harder you need to get them from legendaries but you get them they, they do they do come up so salvage your gear so disassemble your gear and sell your gear for scrap it's always good to just cap all of those i, I try and be at 999 999 for everything that way i know if i see something in the store i can buy it play and here's a bonus tip guys experiment with your mods early it costs nothing so the minute you unlock the crafting bench i would go to town get to know the system do it in the world tiers that's how you figure out what you like and how you like to play and what mods work best with each other experiment early you don't need to go to the guides you can pretty much figure out some mods of survivability some mods of dps and some mods of skill figure out what sort of combination of mods you're looking for what sort of combination what sort of mods you're looking for the guns or gear to already have when it drops and how they work together just think about that and uh your journey will become way easier through enoch it'll be piece of pie and that's pretty much my top 10 plus one best tips and tricks for outriders hopefully you enjoyed it if you did drop a comment below and if you really enjoyed it like the video and drop a sub the goal for may is to reach 200 subs we are at 159 i think we can do it do you think we can do it let's do it 
All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.